so I hid my kayak and all my gear last night and uh, if any, anyone saw me do it it would look so dodgy like I was like burying a body or something have a look at this there it is still here The way in Godalming navigation sweep through the salubrious Surrey countryside for about 20 miles until joining the Thames. There's plenty of history on this route. The way navigation itself predates the Canal Age by 100 years, when in the 1650s the natural river was made more navigable. A century later this was extended from Guildford to Godalming. At Wisley, the way splits into man-made and wild river sections, but the wild river section is for another video. Here I will be gently following the engineered navigations from Godalming to Weybridge hopefully finding somewhere to camp along the way. <laughs> I didn't get very far and uh, already at the first lot, but um, at least this year I've got, um, I've got a kayak trolley, so I can just wheel a kayak. Nice and easy, I don't need a lock keeper or I don't need to put the boat through the lock even though it's completely fully loaded but you're overloaded this time. So um, yeah, this will be the, uh, the virgin lock for this new kayak trolley. Oh, nearly lost it. <laughs> Bulls! <laughs> Reminds me of my Thames trip. I think I'm a bit safer from bulls on this one. Godalming navigations are the perfect marriage of canal and river. They really do have the vibe of both in equal measure. Not quite one, not quite the other, if you know what I mean. Great for paddling. I think it's going to be beautiful in the summer. At the moment, it's still a bit chilly. The trees aren't in their summer coats yet.
here I'm struggling to find a wild cabin spot at the moment. There's, the problem is there's, you know, there are trees and there's woodland, but uh, it's been a really icy cold spring, so the trees are still really bare. It's really wintry, even though it's late April now. And um, for hammock camping, you really need a lot of cover. You know, I want to be hidden. Just need more leaves on the trees. Never seen a lock with both gates open before. <laughs> Must be a decommissioned one. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it a night now. So I think I'm going to set up a tarp tent from the Lock Island here at Papercut Lock. Lovely evening though. Looking forward to a nice glass of wine. Wine time. Well, I don't think that was a bad first day. Cheers. That's one of the famous sites on the way. That's uh, the house of the Elizabethan poet, John Donne.
going through Five Feet and uh, it's a lovely place. It's a very expensive place to live and there's all these beautiful houses. But listen to that traffic noise. So loud. It's not a sound I would want to get used to. So my phone's in the river. Um, I was just getting out of the kayak, uh, New Hall Lock, and my, my, my foot got tangled on the uh, the wire that plugs into the solar power. And um, yeah, it went for a swim. I'm never gonna see that again. Uh, the annoying thing is though, uh, I need to call to, to get my lift, you know, at, at the end at Weybridge and um, I, 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 yeah, I've just realised I don't know anybody's phone number. I, like, I guess you don't these days, do you? So, um, all right, well, I thought this was going so well. <laughs> and um, you learn something new every time, don't you? I'm gonna have some lunch, think about my options. I'll clean it properly when I get home, of course. So I think my options are either paddle to Weybridge, leave the kayak there, get the train to Hersham, where I live, and then get the car. Second option would be paddle through Weybridge, a little bit further down the Thames, to Walton or Molesey, and then walk the kayak on the trolley to my house. I think I'm going to try option one. Last bit, coming up to Weybridge, the Thames lot. It's been a lovely couple of days, I really like the way. It's been a beautiful warm up to the season, nice and gentle start, nothing too taxing, it's quite local to me. Good way to kick off the year, I think. Definitely planning on doing a few more of these. If there's any river or waterway you think I should do, then let me know in the comments. Coming up is Thames lock. As the name suggests, this is what connects the way with the Thames and it concludes the end of the way navigation and the end of my two days. Finished. It's been great. Never mind about the phone. It's just a phone. At least I didn't hurt myself like the last trail. This is quite local to me, so I'm definitely going to be back here paddling soon. And uh, just one more thing. Cheers. Oh yeah, an update on the uh, whole logistics thing. I decided against getting the train and, and all that. Uh, I thought I'd paddle to Molesey, stash the kayak, and then walk home and get the car. And then I just realized even that's just a big hassle. So I'm just gonna walk the kayak the few miles it is home. Bye. <laughs>